Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking, I'm going to answer a question, a question I was asked recently, which is, what does it take to be a great trainer? Are you ready? Let's get started. So a couple of weeks ago, I got an email from one of our readers, and she'd been thinking about the question that I posed a moment ago, what does it take to be a great trainer? And she wanted my opinion, and I asked her if it'd be okay if I used it as an episode on Remarkable TV, and she graciously said yes. So I've been doing this thing called training for a long time, and I suppose, depending a little bit on how you define it, uh, I've been doing it for over 25 years. So I've thought a lot about this question in the past, and I've trained a lot of trainers in the past, and I was thinking about it again as it related to her recent question. And I've got three things to share with you today. The first one is that I think her question, while I understand it, uh, leads us down the wrong path. Uh, there's a lot of words that we can use to define trainer, but I think the right one is to be a facilitator of learning. Yeah, a great trainer is a facilitator. We could use other words, as I said, like lecturer or trainer or teacher, uh, but at the end of the day, the right word, I believe, is a facilitator of learning. To be a facilitator is to help others or to make it easier for others, in this case, to learn something. So really, our job as a trainer, and a really great trainer, is someone who is trying to facilitate the learning of others. Secondly, uh, really great trainers are focused on others. They're other-focused. They're not focused on themselves. They're not focused on the topic. They're focused on the other person and helping the other person get the outcome that they need. That's really what a great trainer is all about. Think about the great, the great trainers or teachers you've had in your life. They are focused on you being successful. And the third thing I'll say about great trainers is that they, they know that it's really all about the learning. Yeah, they're focused on others, but they're also focused on the outcome. And the outcome is for a learner to really get it. And the best way for us to get it is to discover it. When we have ownership of it because we're like, we had the aha moment. Great trainers are in the business of helping to create the aha moment because we are all in the business of making the learning happen. <clears throat> now, you may be thinking, Kevin, why this doesn't really align with the kinds of topics that you normally talk about here. Well, I think it aligns directly. Because we can say trainer, we can say facilitator, we can say lecturer, we can say all those things, but the same three things that I just talked about are necessary for us to be a great coach and are necessary for us to be a great leader as well. Yeah, I could have expanded the list for great trainer, but those top three things apply not just to trainers, but also to us as coaches and leaders. And it's because of that that I share those three ideas with you. That at the end of the day, it's about us facilitating learning for others, and it's all about the learning. So let's summarize all that with today's tweet. The best trainers are completely focused on the learning and the learner. They know it isn't about themselves. Well, for the last couple of minutes, I've been talking about training and, and how to help other people learn is one of the cre critical skills for us as coaches. So before I close, let me just talk a little bit about our Remarkable Coaching Workshop and why you should join me for the next opportunity. See, it's a workshop that I created and that I lead that is an interactive, engaging, fun opportunity to work on your coaching skills. And if I do my job right, I will deliver on the three things I promised that great trainers do. I'm completely focused on making it a learning experience that works for you and delivers for you the ability to coach others more successfully. If you want to learn more, you can click on the links, otherwise on other places on this page, and I hope that you'll do exactly that. Now, before I go, if you have comments about this video or if you've got things that you'd like us to talk about in future videos, if you'll please share your comments on this page, we're watching and it's impacting what we create for you. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Remarkable TV.